yeah. Them call me a fusser. I don't want to stop in my freestyle. For you, for you, and you. For you. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian and African boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Right, I'm opinion, Banga, a new exclusive you definitely be notified. So, breaking news guys, Bakole versus Ajakba. A done deal, according to Boxing Scene. The Martin Bakole Jagba IBF Fway title eliminator has been agreed. Top ranks uh, Carl Moretti has said. It was supposed to be on the real season February show, but they moved it off. So I anticipate it will be on whatever the next real season show is after February. Turkey she said earlier this month that he was planning a real season show for March outside of Saudi Arabia. I wonder where that would be. But thing is that the fight has been agreed upon and yes, I, I wasn't wrong to think what's going on. Because I thought maybe Bakole's team did something that pissed Turkey Alashi off and then they removed him from the show. But it's just one of those things that I think Turkey Alashi thought about it and said okay maybe it should be, the, be on the next one but Jack Bar has a fight that's according to top ranks um reps um yeah man what do you make of this fight being agreed now Kenichuku uh the, the well stylistically how do you view this fight I think it will be a great fight I think Turkey was on um the podcast earlier this week was it this week or last week it's going to be in March. It's going to be in the UK. There's a real season card for March in the UK. But they have not agreed. That was the one that... That's actually the one that... Um, originally, Daniel Dubois was meant to face Anthony Joshua. But Anthony, AJ has an injury. So AJ is not going to be making any boxing appearances till mid-June. May, May, later in the year but there's a boxing card for march because i think there's one more boxing card or two more boxing real event boxing cards before they go into fasting for the muslim people so there's one in the uk so i think that's the one that they will appear on i don't know if they'll headline it but they are, that's the one that they're going to appear on uh, what else do i know i said it because I, I said it on social media and I'm not going to change on my ex-handle, I said it that it's going to be Efe Ajaba's best performance ever in a boxing ring. Why are but you so sure about that? I'm sure it's going to be his best ever performance. But like I said, but I'm still sure that Bangkole is going to win. Why do you I'm, think that? I think Bangkole has... Bangkole reminds me a bit about... Antonio Tava. Antonio Tava. Antonio Tava, yeah. 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 For years. Everybody in that lightweight, light heavyweight division was avoiding him. Because all of them had sparred with him and saw the Wahala. That's before the alleged drugs, drug use. But everybody saw that Wahala that he gave them. Everybody. Everybody. Even Roy saw it, the Wahala. Nobody wanted to find out to the tower. He was just being avoided, 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 avoided. Same parallel with Bankoli. No matter what you say. Um, the reason why Usyk is the heavyweight champion today is that Usyk is a four or four slash five dimensional heavyweight boxer. He can slug, he can box, he can fight on the back foot, he can fight against the ropes, and there's one other this thing I'm missing. Um. Same thing with um, Bankoli. Every one of them know. All of them in the top five heavyweight know the kind of person Martin Bankoli is. They know what he can do. They know he can box on his back foot. They know he can box coming forward. They know he can he can box in the clinch. Like Jared Anderson tried to do, tried to tie him up a couple of times. He can box in the clinch. He has seen every single style. So he can easily adapt to it. So that style 
from this thing. The only thing we have not seen from Bankole is him getting hit with flush shots excessively. So that is um, if um, Ajaba's combination boxing can be sharp. But I don't think it'll be enough. I think Bankole is still beats him. I think Bankole is, everybody now knows, Bankole is head above almost everybody. It's that thing that he did with um, he did with Jared Anderson was just child's play. I think if he gets there, he's, he's going to, this is going to be his coming out part. I, I think you're underestimating um, Ajaba. I'm not, I'm not underestimating Ajaba. Ajaba has Ajaba has great strength, but Ajaba has poor footwork, and that's that's what shocked me because I know if he if he was playing, he's a good football player. He was playing football before he switched to boxing. For someone that has good, absolutely fantastic feet, I don't know what his footwork has gone to, because his footwork is meant to be impeccable. He's meant to be dancing around all these heavyweights, but. Papa, me and you are both here. He doesn't dance around any heavyweights. He plants his feet and he plants his feet slow. His feet are like almost stuck in lead or stuck in concrete. That's the, this thing. He has fantastic upper body and fantastic power. But he he's he's going to get... Jana! I'm on a call. Go meet mommy. Sorry about that, guys. So, um... That's the problem. I'm not. I. I. Guy, me and you have. I've watched all FA's fights. I've watched all FA's fights from the PBC to this thing. I sat down and watched FA's breakdown during COVID, <laughs> and that was really hard during COVID when he was breaking down his fight against that guy, that guy that he fought after the guy that walked out of the ring. I sat down and I watched the whole twenty something minutes of that fight. You know, it was hard. Anybody that got that YouTube video knows it was hard. I'm a big fan of FA. You know, I'm a very, very big fan of FA. But I, I, we're well, here to speak boxing. I'm here to speak the truth. I don't think he beat Bankole. I think if he, if he was even fighting Jared Anderson, I think um, if he beats Jared Anderson by KO, because Jared Anderson leaves his jaw there like a, like an anchor. And if he's going to tap on it, but Bankole is something else. I've seen him against Yoka. I've seen him against this thing. I saw those light sparring footages against this. He gave all those people wahala. You don't beat boxers with different dimensions like that. Bakole, I know the kind of person Bakole is. He's going to run through the vision for at least a good two years before he loses his discipline. So that's my take on it. Bro, I understand you, but... Um... I feel like uh, our Jagba might do something we not we don't expect. I you don't do know. Expect. I don't if our Jagba <laughs> utilizes his 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 reach. That jab, our Jagba has one of the one of the most devastating jabs. So go watch his old fights. That he mainly beat people with his jab, but somehow oh, he stopped. His footwork is bad. It's a, it's been degrading. Uh, go, um. Just switch off the TV, eh? Switch off the TV. Go back to the last three fights. Just look at his legs. Look at FA's legs. Go back to FA's first three fights and see how as his footwork was improving. His footwork has really, really regressed. I think when he was with Ronnie, he was doing a lot of um what do you call it? Um um are they Ali, what do you call this thing? This um zip pyro or something that you'll be running, you'll be doing like all these like not calisthenics, where you run a lot. He did a lot of that with Ronnie. He stopped doing that. Because I know it's the same drills that I, I think I saw if, if from footage from Ronnie's camp. Him, Charlo, and Morel, they were doing that. They do that thing a lot. That's why their legs. Yeah, work. yeah. Yeah, their legs. They are, they always have, his leg work has regressed. Just do it this evening, um, Raymond. Look at his last three fights against that Australian, against that. This, Look at his leg walk. His leg walk has regressed. He's, he has a, he, his upper body movement is good, but his leg walk is terrible. His leg walk is terrible. That's why he cannot. That's why it's it's hard for him now. His leg walk is terrible, and that's where Bankole is going to get him. Hmm. Yeah, man. I just hope Ajakba wins, man. But I'm rooting for both guys. They're Africans, so I cannot. 
choose one over another. Of course, everybody knows that my loyalty is to Nigeria. And uh, Ajaba, if Ajaba can get it done, it means the Joshua fight will be there to be made. And that will be one of the biggest fights in Africa. And um, I, I personally will fly to Nigeria to attend a fight if it happens. But we don't know yet. Adewale, the fight is done. Uh, the deal, I think it will be on the next Riyadh Citizen card. How do you feel about that, bro? We know we talked about, you know, the possibility of uh, Alachik falling out with uh, ba uh, Bakoli's uh, uh, team or something. One of Bakoli's team. Uh, um, team personnel. Yeah. Are you there, Adewale? Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. I'm, I'm very, very excited about the fight. Very good fight for the heavyweight division. That's how I feel. Because, um, you know, we've not had too many, uh, I don't want to call them mid-level slash high-level fights. And this one is a good representative of, you know, such categories of fights where it's not a world title, but it's a fight between two highly ranked heavyweights very good punchers and excited fighters, especially Bakoli. These days, Bakoli is one of the most exciting heavyweights, um, considering his last performance against Jared Anderson. And maybe we all just overhyped Jared Anderson because he has the American factor. You know, a lot of times we, we seem to back the American fighters because they've prevailed mostly in the past, right? So yeah, it's an exciting fight in my opinion. Very, very exciting. So are you do you agree with Kenichuku in regards to Bankole winning that fight? Or do you think Ajakba will do get the deal done? Wait, wait, first off, my brother Kenichuku, his name is Bakole, not Bankole. Bankole is a Yoruba name. Bakole is a Congolese name. My guy, Bakole, Bakole, Mkole, it doesn't matter. By Bakole. Oh, yeah, I agree. Bakole, Bakole. Do you even know there's Bakole? You know Bakole? Bakole. I mean, you know, you got the names. As so, well. Af yeah, is Africa, bro. So, I beg, continue. Bakole. No, no, no. We need to separate. We need to. But, bro, Bakole is different from Bakole. Okay. But hey, no, no disrespect to my brother. My, guy, bro, I just my, my name, my name is Effie. <laughs> Effie Ajagba is Effie. He is from Robo. I'm Edo. Um, so we are Effie. It means the same thing. Effie means wealth in Robo. Means wealth in my language, Edo. So it doesn't matter. Bankole, okay, Bankole, we are for... Africans. Yeah, let me let me explain now. Bankole has an N, B A N K O L E. And Bankole means help me bring my house or help me build my house. That's what it means. Bakole has a different meaning in the ethnic group of Mr. Bakole. I, okay. I believe it's Lingala. So which, salutes to my Lingala which, brothers and which sisters from Congo. Lingala. It's, it's, uh, yeah, I believe it's, that's what he is in Congo. And Wait, I love all my Congolese people. Is it DRC? Doesn't, isn't it the richest African country by resources? I think it is, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. The DRC yeah. is the wealthiest think, country in yeah, terms of natural resources. Yeah, and uh, followed but by Nigeria. Also unfortunately, followed by, followed by Nigeria. Going, going on there. Anyway, I don't know if it's Nigeria, but yeah, but yeah. So um, I'm just excited about the fights. As far as who comes out victorious, I will be. You know, we we had this conversation about two weeks ago, and I I said it was 55-45 in favor of Bakole, just based on their attributes. You know, um. As I speak to you, I'm currently watching the highlights of Michael Hunter versus Macaulay, and I'm trying to see some deficiencies that he has. He has a problem with people that move a lot, and that's what Michael Hunter was doing, right? Um, Hunter was able to land some punches and quickly move out, out of the range. I don't really think if a Jaguar presents that level of challenge for Macaulay, but at the same time, if he has some tools that could neutralize what Bakoli brings to the table, like his, obviously his power punch, 
Ife is rugged, very experienced. As a matter of fact, between Ife and Macaulay, I, I would think Ife might be a little bit more experienced. I mean, you guys correct me if I'm wrong in your opinion. Um, I feel like Ife's experience, his power punch, and maybe a good chin. Ife has a good chin as well. That might present some troubles for Bacoli. But if I also think about the fact that Bacoli throws some very good uppercuts from out of nowhere, and he has decept deceptively fast hands. Okay, Bacoli is a good fighter, man. Like, is, that guy is not a joke. He's going to do a, a dance in the heavyweight division. And if I'm just being honest, although I love Ife Ajaba, I also love Bacoli. I will have to favor Bacoli in this one. But Ife, please prove us wrong. Prove us wrong. Make it an exciting fight. But if the mere fact that both guys are my African brothers and I love and support them, I'm just looking out for the best fights. And I hope both guys come out healthy at the end of the fight. Thanks, bro. I'm rooting for Ajaba. Uh, I love Bacoli as well. He's a nice guy. Uh, very quiet of course i would i would love to see his profile rise more I mean, he doesn't think lack of english and um he's uh he's i don't know his persona is different imagine he had that like imagine that jaguar was the one in back on his shoes you remember when ajakba when that guy uh left uh left the ring you know uh what's his name again curtis Hafa, yeah uh when yeah. he when he quit against ajakba you you see what that PR like Nigerians were just all over, you know that news and everything. The hype was like crazy. Ajaba doesn't talk much like Bankole, uh, but the Nigerians were just the hype was crazy. I don't know Congolese, uh, maybe with the language barrier, you know, it's different. Cause they also have a lot of population, huh? Like us, they have a lot of population think, as well. I think, bro, I I actually think Bankole is more eloquent than. A Jaguar, and he will be able to sell himself better to the to a larger audience than a Jaguar because a Jaguar doesn't talk a lot. Bakole actually talks. Bro, you know, if, he calls people if ba, out. If Bakole was a Nigerian, huh? Do you know the hype that will be behind him right now by Nigerians? The hype alone will be crazy. Okay. Nigerian media will carry him everywhere. I'm talking about Nigerians. Let me say something. Nigerians go blow you. Nigerians. Let me say you. something, bro. Let me say something, bro. Mm -hmm. I know you're going to disagree with what I'm about to say, but let me just say, it. give me the opportunity to express myself in this regard. Who in the past, in Nigerian fighter, mm -hmm. has the Nigerian hype been behind and has been successful? Can you name just one fighter? Samuel Peter. Bro, Samuel Peter was all over. Even my dad sat me down to watch Samuel Peter's fight. That hype was crazy. I don't know where I don't know on your side who Roy Dose State guy. Huh? Samuel Peter name was everywhere. In fact, people started loving boxing. Samuel Peter name was even at Pabi yourself. I think uh Pabi inspired him to he went to so many places. He was known. The only person that didn't get the hype is uh Ike Abuchi. And that's the only one and even till now. No, a lot of just don't know him. But Samuel Peter so was known. What I'm gonna say, what I'm gonna say about Samuel Peter, and I don't want this to be an argument because I know yeah. we are about to start arguing. Yeah. <laughs> Peter's his success was not as a result of Nigerian hype. No, no, his I'm success listen, was I'm not because saying, of one year in on the world stage. I'm not saying the Nigerian this. media didn't add anything to his success. My guy or the guy. Nigerian fans. My guy, my guy, let's keep it right here. Samuel Peter, huh? His success is boxing is a one man sport, it's a lonely sport. However, it's not easy for you to be recognized by your state governor, not only your state governor, by other governors or other uh, uh, reps, you know, other personalities that basically doesn't follow boxing. My dad is not a fan of boxing, but Samuel Peter fight each time he fought. He always say go watch, go watch some Peter, you know. He always like watch that fight. This is, you know, you have to understand that some Peter's like basically introduced a lot of Nigerians to boxing as well. Like a lot of people I know started boxing because of some Peter. I don't know about people in the north. I'm speaking people from Meadow State, you know, Delta. His name is all over, well known. I'm saying, and also he's different. 
because then social media was not the thing if you want to really know when i jacked by that guy when i that guy left the ring against the jackball go watch all the nigerian media nigerians all over they were all hyping it my guy if nigerians this is if they carry a matter for it uh you you just got to do the work you do the work they go carry your matter well like crazy they go help you well you know just also got the hype now now let one of the bitches for download they should change them out <laughs> but well my brother what i'll say to that uh, but you know what i'll say to that but i'm saying if i jump and win this fight, okay now let me tell you right now let's keep it right here huh? adewale mark my words if i jump beat bakole you know something there's a uh uh you know something we have uh there's this rivalry between um uh, between uh, nigeria and south africa right south africans are already supported by colleague when uh, africa first one posted the, the about this fight the other day south africans will say oh good because they are against nigeria uh, but uh, if this if a jagba do the unthinkable huh because i know say bakole that guy or oh, the whole of congo they back oh it go hard but a jagba and just guy be say man i believe he can do it i believe but you know when you are fighting somebody that even your own president they in back guy a jagba governor self no no one no no the supporter yet the jagba past governor this governor i don't see him you understand I so, don't bro, see this is what i'll say this is what i'll say i feel like um I, i'm not gonna argue with you you know you have your own perspective about um the nigerian media and the fans and what they can you know the way you attribute the success of certain fighters to these crowds but I, me personally, I feel like the Congolese crowd is definitely way better than the Nigerian crowd. I know, I we know. We saw the heroes welcome. We saw the heroes welcome that ba Bakole had when he beat Jared Anderson. The, and he went the, back Kong, Kongo. the Congolese club, we, crowd. We, we saw, bro, bro, chill, we saw, the, we saw the, the king's welcome that Francis Ngannou has received multiple times when he went back to Cameroon. I can't remember any single Nigerian fighter that has had such welcome. And the Nigerian fans are only on the, on social media. They will only hype you once you're on top. And once you're at the bottom, they're going to curse you out. They're going to drag you down. And wow. most importantly, the fan support of the Nigerian fans does not translate into money. The Nigerian fans are only going to support you on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. It's not going to put a dollar in your pockets because they're not going to buy your pay-per-views. They're not going to come watch your fight and pay for the event. And even if you host a fight in Nigeria, how much is the ticket going to be? It's probably not even going to happen. But let's assume uh, but that. Uh, but that's a, that's a how lie. much are you going that's, to sell that's the ticket? A how much are you going to sell the ticket? I said I want to lie. I want to lie. I disagree, bro. Not lie. Okay, my let's stop, bro. My brother, my brother. But let me, let, me end, let me end my submission, bro. Let me end yeah. so we don't drag it too long. I'm just yeah. going to say that I'm rooting for both guys. I wish both guys the best and may the best man come on top. Uh, but I don't want to lie. Ak Majori. Huh? you know the car crowd way pool. people from nigeria flew all the way from nigeria to spark Bajori. these are just fans who we support her when we some of them don't know her yet some of them invite their friends from that they all go people from from europe flew flew all the way even on their side now or they are huh? we fight for germany i went there they were also another nigerian guy that i met there and we uh, he said i said i didn't know this place he said may i he watched my video on uh, he said i watched your video I just fly from all the way from Italy, go go there. I went from Netherlands here, go watch on. Somebody from Italy flew. Bro, not be only, not be only online guy. I will not support that. I met that guy there. You know when where when I uh 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 or the fort. I met another Nigerian guy there. There were like two or three of them. Say where are you guys from? I said they came from Italy. I said how did you know uh the fighting there? So yeah, I watch your your video now on YouTube. Ah, nice. We we are We just rang out after the, after the fight because the fight wasn't really long. After that one, I just go. Uh, we go out, uh, go drink something, you know, go and gas more, you know. Everybody just do their thing. So I know Nigeria is the correct oh, tool, guys. Like, like green bottle too much. Oh my god! You see? <laughs> I know you like green bottle too much. And I was, <laughs> this guy. Anyways, that's what we see. I'm so guys. I'm rooting for a Jack to do the job, to get the job done. But if uh, Bakole wins, for me, he deserves it. But let's see. I believe in a Jack Stay tuned, guys.